it feels just almost supernaturally healthy. And I think how you feel about it is probably the way it is out here. Rude of me, I suppose. Sorry, I can't offer you anything, but we were alone. It's itself a rather strange construction. Hmm. You know, of uh, consumable suitable to be stored on a boat for many prolonged periods, I, I, you can't beat uh, Frito's jalapeno cheddar substance. Why look? But the French will be envious. Here's the good thing about this sort of thing. I'll read the expiration date. Best used before 2193. During this difficult time we must fortify. And I'm not compensated for saying that on a sunny day like this, 69 and a half degrees, what a good citizen should do, what cries out for service to the human spirit as well as the human anatomy, is a, is a glass of extra stout. Cracking good. The virus doesn't stand a chance. I made these masks out of a out of a, my son's uh, bed sheets uh, using a pattern that was published in the New York Times a, a couple of days ago, and uh, it takes me about 45 minutes to make one. But it was a good excuse to uh, get out the old Singer 237 instead of my cell making machine. Uh, it's really much smoother and easier to deal with on, on ordinary fabric instead of cell cloth. One of the reasons that I came sailing today is because so many other people apparently can't. And what a lovely day it is here in, um, off of Marina del Rey in Los Angeles, California. And, but things aren't like this all over the world. Here's, here's a few of my correspondents. Pearl of Qatar, or Qatar, or Qatar, says, be careful and wash your hands all the time. Don't touch your face. We are locked down in Oz, Australia, and I'm here in Doha. That's in Qatar. We're all in it together, my friend. I'll bet. Bernie Fanustenda says, Lucky you, we're not allowed to sail here in Belgium. Oh, sorry, Bernie. Home Cooking with Nancy says, I'm stuck in our boat Shandy in Maryland. They just closed the state and the marina. I, however, am allowed to stay. My husband's running our business in Virginia while I work remotely on board. Hope to sail our 38 Sayana to the South Pacific one day. Well, in southern Texas, a Mason 43 is being refitted by sailing La Luna Negra. Counting the days till I can begin my journey home to Dana Point. Unfortunately, the craziness caused by the virus here is palpable and getting worse. Until then, I keep my hopes up. Bruce Kratke, who I happen to know doesn't have a boat and lives in the 
icy northern Midwest, Bruce says, I'd be tempted to take my wife six months of food and water and just move around the Pacific, never coming ashore until the old clear was sounded. Sorry for those who got laid off. Hold fast, Bruce. Okay, there aren't many boats out, but we, we don't want to run into one while the autopilot takes us along through virus waters. Authorities have ruled leisure boating non-essential travel in Northern Ireland, says John Hutch. I've been deemed a shielded person, but to me the boat would be a very suitable place to be safe and isolated from wife and two kids. Oh, I guess that means for safety reasons. Carl Smith, or Colonel Smith, no, probably Carl Smith, in Australia, I think. Our leaders have banned fishing and boating. Thank you for some common sense. We're seeing a great exodus of gray nomads head for the country against government direction. These regional areas have no infrastructure to cope. Rural Queensland will be hit hard, although the population there is better behaved because the shops are well stocked. We have been warned for decades about incoming pandemics. Well, like my dad used to say, it's not until it affects those who rule. And that's why London got a storage system. Now look at it, it overflows every time it rains. Well, I, I have similar feelings. Although the source system in Los Angeles, um, it, it works pretty well. Thomas Bosch says, my wife and I are on our boat in Puerto Vallarta, and we were informed today that all ports here are now closed, and we, haven't, we aren't even allowed to leave for a day sail. One of the best bays on the Pacific coast of the Americas, with a good 20 knot thermal every day, and not one boat can sail. Please enjoy it for the rest of us. Rupert Sugden. Mm -hmm. Better check again. Oh, looks all right. Rupert Sugden says, uh, you are very lucky that you can still sail. I can't even visit my boat, let alone take her out. I feel like part of my character has been cut away and put in a safe. Marina Tensoglivio. I wish I had a boat. For now, we are isolated at home, waiting for this difficult situation to finish. Good luck and greetings from Greece. Roger Snyder says, sailing plans for August on our 37-foot sailing vessel waves with four friends from Minnesota and Colorado are up in the air at this time. I'll, I'll say they are, Roger. Everything's up in the air, isn't it? Simon Whitehead, I'm based in France and not permitted to even go and check my boat, let alone go out and sail. Jay Du says, in our country, we have been told not to leave the marina. They postulate that if we have a problem, we would place the Coast Guard at risk, so no boating. Yes, well, I'll have to deal with that. Same in New, Ge no, same in New Zealand, says another correspondent. Sadly, anything that could jeopardize others' safety. Well, a few people have warned and accused that by going sailing alone on my boat, I am endangering uh, the police and the Coast Guard on the grounds that if I had an automobile accident on the way to the boat, they would have to respond, and if I sank, they would have to drag my body ashore. I'm taking the virus seriously. Just yesterday, in fact, when I was making, I made those masks because Mayor Garcetti, the mayor of Los Angeles, 
said, okay, it's time for everybody who goes out to the grocery store, Ralph's or Gelson's, to put on a mask. And of course, the reason isn't to protect yourself, because these cotton masks won't really do that. It's to keep the uh, aerosolized saliva that apparently can go five or ten feet. If you blurt something out, uh, across the uh, air to infect somebody else and any kind of facial barrier even a robber's bandana uh, works pretty well to at least knock the spit down. Am I endangering people by going sailing alone? I don't think so. I, I really, we have to wait, we have to use common sense. We have Alright, back to the mask for as long as it takes.